So I am the chief of the Logan High School editing squad and basically for corporate uh, we edit the videos for TV broadcasting and um, we make it go live. Also, I have very many interesting characters. We have Liz, she's very, very not fair. She, um, hey, boss. she like skips Can out I take a sick day tomorrow? Time. Sorry. Yeah, I, I like encourage her. Yeah. She's um, doing her best. This is your 20th but she's, sick she's day. She's just always just well, the, like, taking a vacation like, or like a sick days. day. But it's all right. Anyway. I just wanted to let you know also, I'm going on vacation next week, I hope that's okay. Like I just, I really need a detox, it has been such a negative environment, I can't do this life uh, without vacation. Uh, sh sure. Yeah. Thanks boss, you're the best, I'll not see you tomorrow. Um, who else do we have? We have Jake, he's just there. Um, he, he just works and no one really talks. He, do, he doesn't talk at all, actually. Um, he, he's just there. Um, we have Kaden. She's my right-hand man, my hype man. She helps me get people riled up to do their job and uh, get to work. She's just the best. Hi, boss! What are you doing this? Early in the morning. How do you even get in here? The door's locked. I didn't go home. Are you? Are you, Is there any trouble at home? No. Okay. Um. Why were you just sitting in the dark? Just, just waiting. All right. So what are we working on today? We're working on editing our final video. Oh, sounds like fun. Yeah. We have Brock. Um, he's kind of ipsy, like he, he like, everyone, he's kind of the gag of our group. He, uh, he tries, but he's not good enough. No, I got it. And then we have Kaylee. She's kind of the cool guy in our group. She likes to pull fast ones on us. She's kind of a prankster, but she's she's really just funny. I want to be her best friend. Everyone wants to be her best friend. That's, that's my group. Are you guys ready to finish the final video of the term? Let's do this! Yeah. Wow! Where's the hype? I'm excited. Where's Elizabeth? She's on vacation. Oh yeah. I'm sorry, I forget. Woo! Yeah! Okay. Yeah! I have something up my sleeve that will shock everyone. Me the email? Alright. Oh, yep. Hey guys, I have a video. Come here. Oh, I love videos. After everyone left the office that day, I remember that I forgot my bag. And that's when I saw Brock. Later, boss. I forgot my bag. Hi, how are you doing? You know, this is really good talking to you. You know, let's have some fun later. Okay. Can you get me this footage? Sure. <laughs> <laughs>
What, what, what were you doing? Um, I had to stay after work. And flirt with a mannequin? And flirt with a mannequin? No. This is a little weird for me. This is, yeah, that's, that's, I think I might have to fire you. Oh? You, you can't be messing around after work, especially when I gave you the keys to do actual work. Right. Sorry, dude, I gotta let you go. Alright. No, he'd actually get fired. It was just a prank. You got fired? Yeah, I did, unfortunately. Thank goodness. My name is Mitch Carter, I'm a senior, and I've been playing violin for eight years now. Outside of violin, I do cross country and track, and that's really fun. Concerto Night's always been something that I've just planned on doing my senior year, and I just really wanted to have take one piece and work really hard on it and see how good I can get at it. It will probably not happen that much after high school, unfortunately. I'm playing the third movement of Joseph Haydn's Violin Concerto in C. He wrote it in the 1670s in Austria, and I just really like this song. It's because it's super, it's like buoyant and it's happy and it's, it's really, it's like light and quick and it's just a really fun song to play and listen to. So I, yeah, I really enjoyed doing this piece. My name is Ariane Tyler. I've been, I play, well, play, I sing. I've been singing my whole life. Um, I would guess I took it seriously about like since the beginning of high school. Um, before that, it was kind of just singing was playing on the radio. My favorite hobby outside of singing is actually being in the musical, so I guess that is kind of still singing, but um, yeah, performing, acting, and more and more singing. That's all I do. <laughs> I didn't actually know Concerto Night was a thing until this year, um, and I chose to participate because I kind of fell in love with singing um, more traditional songs like arias and, and like classical music, and I thought it'd be really cool to, you know, get going on like one song and practice really hard and be able to perform it in a pretty dress with lots of people. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my piece is called Mi Chiamo no Mimi and it's from um, an, ar an opera and it is about a girl who is kind of just singing about her life story and she, um, for a living, she embroiders flowers and you know, just nice and simple, really cute. It sounds a lot more serious than it actually is, but you would know because it's in Italian. Um, I plan on performing for the rest of my life, probably not, um, you know, professionally, but definitely, you know, in like city musicals and for like, you know, in part of like church choirs and things like that. My name is Lisa Wilson. I play the violin and I've been playing for 10 years. Outside of playing my instrument, I like to do judo and taekwondo. So it's a good time. <laughs> okay. So, in an orchestra, we just play with string orchestras. Um, but I love the sound of a full orchestra with, when we have the band and percussion come in and play with us. And also, I like to play with my peers, but it'd be fun to kind of play with a different dynamic instead of with them, but like get to work with them. So I look forward to hearing how that goes and what they think. So I'm playing Romance in G Major by Beethoven. It's kind of a mystery as to what these romances, there's two of them, what they were made for, what they were supposed to be part of. Um, he wrote them in Austria um, just before the 1700s, and um, they were, might have been part of a longer concerto, but we're not so sure. So, the plan right now is a dual major, um, one with the sciences and one with music, whatever that may be, whether it's you know, a teaching degree or um, performance, we'll see. Oh, welcome to the Softball Diamond Cage. Let me show you around. I don't know how they In play. here is where we do the batting.
so excited for the season. I've been working so hard. Um, uh, but Kaylee though, she's she's just so cool. She's definitely gonna rock this whole entire season. She's definitely not threatening me. Someone please help. Please help. <laughs> I show you some real pitching. That was all. That was all. Now that you've seen the batting cage, come on down to play some softball. Hi, my name is Kaden, and I'm the president of the K-pop dance club here at Logan High. In the K-Pop Dance Club, we learn dances and just have fun being with each other. We have the amazing opportunity to do various things here in the Valley. We've opened for a local band, participated in assemblies here at Logan High, and performed at a health fair event. We also do various events just inside the club, such as holding a concert at the end of the year to show our progress to our friends and family. This year we're taking a different route and filming our own dance videos and posting them on YouTube. We meet after school in the rec center's aerobics room and our next meeting will be on January 19th. If you have any questions or you just want to stop by to see what we do, go right ahead. We'll be happy to see you. again and since the new year began uh, it just means a new half of the school year so with the new half of the school year and the whole hectic week we had last time before we eventually got quarantined we we're wondering if anything's changed for live events such as orchestra band theater actually things have changed just a little bit with the new um, restrictions or the restrictions have loosened up just a little bit that if you are sitting next to somebody in, exposed in class, then you don't have to be quarantined anymore. You just, it's, as long as you're wearing a mask. So keep wearing your mask. That's opened things up a bit for the orchestra program because we're able to, our next concert's February 19th. It's a Friday night. And we're gonna actually do a live concert. It's our concerto night concert. We're allowing all the students to bring two people each. So I have about 130 students, so they can all invite two people. We are gonna still record it, so we can't just open it to everybody, but we are allowing um, them to bring their parents. The soloists are gonna be invited to bring 10 people, so that way we can um, have more of an audience and have a more of a live concert feel. We'll still be social distanced, of course, in the auditorium and have rows blocked off and such, but we're excited. We got a live concert. All right, well, thank you. Uh taking the time to speak with us. You're welcome. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the final episode of this season of The Den. We'd like to wrap things up with a few short films produced by the video production class where we remix some of our favorite scenes from movies. Thanks you guys and we'll see you next season. Sir, I have people.
Instagram. Boss, we got him. Good afternoon. My name is Paul. Are you in need of any assistance today? No. I could help you cross the street. No. I could help you cross the hallway. No. I could help you cross the classroom. No. Well, I gotta help you cross something. No.